Hello, are you tired of manually transposing your data in Excel? Do you want to learn how to use the wrap calls and wrap rows function to make your life easier? Then you're in the right place. In this video, we'll show you how to use these functions to transpose addresses or finance ranges with ease. So by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use the wrap calls and wrap rows functions to transpose data quickly and efficiently. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So let's give a short demo on the wrap columns and wrap rows. This example is taken actually from the Microsoft site. And so it's a very simple example. So what we're gonna do is use wrap columns. Let's try wrap columns first, select that. And what's our vector? This is gonna be our vector, basically our list of values that we want to wrap. And how do we wanna wrap it? So if we're using the wrap columns, our count is going to be the amount of values that we wanna wrap in the column. So we wanna have three values, one, two, three, in the column. So I'm gonna put three here and close parentheses and press enter. And you can see that it's wrapped those columns and it's on A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you've got these NAs because it's wrapping three values at each column, but it's missing those. And if you didn't want to see these NAs, what you can do is you can put some padding there. So what it's called padding, press tab here to select it. I'll select this again. And in this case, my wrap count is going to be three. In the instances where it doesn't have anything to put in there, I can put something like none, like there's no values here, right? Press close parentheses, press enter, and you see none there. So that's wrap calls. Now, what about wrap rows? Well, with wrap rows, it's the other way around. So what we want to do is we want to put wrap rows here. Wrap rows, type R, press tab. What's our vector here? And how many values do I want to see across the rows? In this instance, I'm going to put three again. And put the number three there, close parentheses, press enter. And you can see that it's gone horizontally on the row A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then there's the NAs, and you can put the pad there if you want to. Now let's get into some kind of real world examples. One way we can use the wrap rows feature is if we get data like this, sometimes we get data that comes out of a database, and these are all addresses, and it's all in one column, and it's pretty uniform. You know, you kind of expect a name, address, city, state, and then zip. And so what you can do is use the wrap rows function. So here I'll type wrap rows, press tab, my vector's here, it could increase, but I'm gonna have I have a small vector here. What are the what's the count? Well, I've got five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna count five values across the row before I go to the next one. Confident that there's gonna be five values here. This is the way that the data is. Close parentheses, press enter. Now we have a useful table of name and address information instead of all in one column. Here, my next example, sometimes we get data from a finance team or ops team, and usually sometimes you see this view and the periods go across horizontally. And maybe you want to compress that, and you can compress it either way where you have the quarters uh, go up in one column and the years across or vice versa. And we can do this with the wrap column feature, right? Wrap column, press tab, and our vectors here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the quarters here because sometimes you want to kind of play with the data first because this is consistent and these are all just kind of like random numbers. And what you can do is it can give you an idea how it's going to look. So I want four values in the column, right? So I'm going to press four. There's one, two, three, four going down. And you can see that it's done it nicely. You have Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and they're all done there. I'm going to take this, Control X to cut, put it over here, Control V to paste, and select back into this particular formula and just move that down, press Enter, and now you see our values have correspondingly wrapped. Now, if we didn't want that view, what we can do is do it here. And in this case, instead of wrap columns, we have our wrap rows, press enter, to select my vector here, comma, what's our count? We have four here in this case, press enter. And you see for 2020, 179, 423, 2021, 165 to 219 here, and 2022, 332 to 198. And for ways to kind of transpose this data in a way, we can use the wrap calls or the wrap rows feature to do this. In summary, we learned how to use the amazing wrap calls and wrap rows functions in Excel to magically transpose addresses or finance ranges. By using these functions, you can easily manipulate or reshape arrays, making it a breeze to analyze your data. Hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.